Uh, one charge is in one to control. Go ahead. Um, can I get a 1028, please? Careful, go ahead. 1020 is gonna be S. It's gonna be skill, common spelling. Sam, Kilo, Ida, Lincoln, Lincoln. And um, the 27 as well. Does that come back clear? Yes, 
copy, thank you. Alright, so that's gonna be coming clear. Um, so this is where we're gonna go to stop the video off, I guess. Um, I initially pulled this guy over for taking a reckless um turn over at the abandoned motel. Um, kind of flew past me in a reckless way. Um, initiated a traffic stop, and as I initiated a traffic stop, a 911 call came out for a trespasser located at the abandoned motel. And this is the individual um, that was pulled over, and there goes his buddy who was pulled over as well. So we're going to take the call from there. We got his information. Everything's coming back clean and clear. I'm not too sure. They said something about smoking and drinking, so we're probably going to have to go ahead and step off the bike. Um, we'll have him step off the bike over there and have this guy step out of the car. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use the text chat to see if I smell um, anything or see anything in plain sight. I don't know why the fuck I keep going to the passenger side because I would, you know, that's how I would do it in real life. I believe so. Alright, sir. Um, where were you coming from today? Abandoned motel. Alright, um, what were you doing at the um, abandoned motel? Okay. Alright, um, but why don't you go ahead and just step outside the car from really quick? Alright, go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and walk towards my bumper. Alright, do you got anything on you? That I should know about weapons, narcotics, anything that's just stick me, poke me, harm me. Alright, well, I'm gonna just pat you down real quick, okay? Alright, let's pat him down to make sure um, he doesn't have anything on him, because at this time I am smelling narcotics coming from the vehicle, so. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> he was probably trying to talk to me. I didn't even see him. Alright, sir, so at this time, I'm placing these handcuffs on you right now, okay? Um, looks like I got some narcotics um, inside of your pocket. Alright, I wish you would have told me about that before I, um, I asked you. Um, so go ahead and hop in the back seat. Just watch your head when you get in. Um, one Charlie zero one to that unit that responded to the um, abandoned motel call. Um, was there any signs of intoxication from that individual you let go? Uh, no, sir. Copy. Um, dispatcher, go ahead and show me one times ten fifteen. Um, Narcotics. Copy. Alright, so we are going to have to go ahead and search the vehicle. So I'm going to make sure he doesn't have anything in it that's going to hurt me. And let's actually hope that he's honest this time. Alright, sir. Um, I am going to go ahead and search your car. Is there anything inside there that I should know about this time? Something you want to be honest about? I mean, I do got a. Maybe I got a pocket knife in the side of the uh, glove box. Okay, that's it? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, just think tank. Hopefully everything you're telling me is the truth. Alright, let's go ahead and change it to our gloves. Wow, that was a, uh, a minor traffic stop turned into a drug bus or whatever, whatever you want to call us. Well, we did do a drug bus just now, so I guess you can call it that. Let's search the vehicle, make sure, you know, there's no firearms or anything in it.
Alright, we're gonna go ahead and search the trunk. Alright, so it looks like we got. Oh, I don't know how much this is, but this is definitely, I would say, one and a half to two pounds of marijuana here in the trunk, so that's not gonna be good. So he's definitely gonna be going to jail right now for possession. Shit, boy. Uh, one Charles. Uh, one Charlie, zero one to control. No. Can you go ahead and roll me a 1050 one of my location? Copy. Okay, sir, so I'm pretty sure you know that you're going to be going to jail tonight, right? Hello? Alright, so you know you're going to be going to jail tonight, right? Yes, but if uh, it's kind of busy back here, I'm trying to fall asleep. Alright, well, um, well, you're going to be going to jail for the possession of um, narcotics, okay? Um, with the an attempt to distribute as well, um, especially since I found two pounds in the back of your truck, okay? So that's going to be coming with us, your vehicle is going to be coming with us, and you just gain yourself an additional um, charge, okay, for tonight. Alright, um, so I'm not going to go ahead and question you. Um, you know, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, can do, we'll go ahead and get you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Okay? Okay. Alright, just hang tight. Alright, so the vehicle is going to be county. So, so we can go ahead and close the other vehicle. And then we can change out of our gloves and take them back down to the station. Did I change it to the right gloves? No, I didn't. Alright, um, so like I was saying before, you're gonna be going to jail for the possession, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take it back down to the station. You'll get booked and processed from there, okay? Actually, we're going to just go ahead and transport him over to the um, over to the other facility that we have, jail facility. I was going to go ahead and take him over to the Sandy Shores one, but we'll switch, we'll switch it up. Um, when Charlie's in, one to control. Um, go ahead and show me, go ahead and show me in route to BCSO, um, department with one in custody at the time. Oh my god, what are you doing? You clown? Wow, so yeah, that was, I don't know, that was pretty cool. Um, the whole call just kind of unraveled in front of my eyes. I wasn't expecting a drug call at all. And, um, you know, I just thought it was going to be a simple, you know, trespassing call. They were just trying to have fun and whatnot. But um, come to find out, you know, some this guy was <laughs> just moving some weight. So, or, you know, smoking some weight, one or two. But he's definitely going to be getting charged with the um, distribution. So.
All right, so you'll just go ahead and just wait, uh, wait with the deputy inside here, right? He'll go ahead and finger, uh, fingerprint you and process you. All right. All right, you make better decisions next time, man. Hopefully, next time I see you in a better situation. Sir, thank you, sir. Yep. Um, I wouldn't say thank you, but take care. Wait, uh, thank you for investing me. Uh, thank you for to make that. Um, one charge zero one to control going to show me back tonight. Control show you back tonight. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and pull over, so we can go ahead and type up this report, and then after we type up this report, we can go ahead and go back tonight. All right, guys, so back to our database here. We're gonna go ahead and submit that arrest report on Benji. That was gonna be his name. Um, he only had his traffic citation. I don't think he's been arrested before and he doesn't have a warrant um, so let's actually go ahead and write up the arrest report location was going to be Sandy Shores um, he was going to be getting charged for the possession So that's going to be his first charge. Um, I should have probably just copied and pasted that, but he's going to be getting charged um, twice, but um, this time with the possession of the um, narcotics. I don't know why I didn't capitalize the um, the end last time with intent. Um, I didn't breathalyze him anything like that. I completely forgot I should have done that. Um, but I just didn't. So, um, we're gonna have to go ahead and just figure that out later on. Right, I'm not too sure why that button is not working, but we're gonna submit it from there. Alright, that's gonna be that. We're gonna be back tonight. Um, what charge is there one? Um, I'm on Panorama. Um, is this a 1080? Was this a, was this a 1080 or a 1050? Okay, copy. Uh, Alright, like, what's going on here? Like, what's going on here? Oh, he hit that vehicle over there. Okay, yeah, like go ahead and check him with the driver, and I'll go ahead and check him across the street. No oh, shit, I didn't know. What the fuck? So apparently he saw um, that truck hit this person right here, and I'm pretty sure this fucking AI is dead. It <laughs> looks like they're pretty unconscious or pretty dead. Wanted to do. Hello, sir, can you hear me? Hello? Nope, I don't think he... I don't think so. I don't want to drag him out, but I do want to just go ahead and open up the car. Door. 
Yeah, he's pretty sleepy. Yeah, he's he's taking he's taking a nap right now. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like he barely has an pulse um a pulse right now. It's going to call for EMS. Hello, this is nine one one. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. Paramedics are en route to your current location. Um, shit, I don't know why I closed that. I meant to keep that open. I was going to keep that open, wait for fire and round rescue to get here. Let's check back in across the street. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Mm-hmm. Um, pretty unconscious. Um, I got I got fire rescue heading out here. Um, I got Bailey. Um, they do have a pulse, but it's it's pretty low. So hopefully they get here fast enough to save them. All right, I'm just going to get the driver out. I'll get the I'll go ahead and get the driver out in the meantime. All right. Um, driver, go ahead and hop down for me. Um, go ahead and hop outside the car for me. Well, the truck. Alright, um, like, what's going on? Like, what happened? Uh, it's, it's this gas mask guy. I'm not getting enough oxygen into this. I think one of the holes is clogged up. I've blacked out, hit a car. So how come you don't, how come you don't take the mask off? If you know that's gonna be a consistent problem. Okay. I don't, I don't really like to show my face though. Okay, but you just <laughs> nearly killed someone though. you rather not show your face than you killing someone. You almost killed that person back there. You realize that, right? Because you have too much pride in having a mask on. Well, we can put it like that. I mean, that, that, you know, like that's the only way that I can think about it. Selfish. Um, so, you know, you, you know, um, not wanting to take off the mask, you know, that's a, that's a you problem. So that's something that could have been fixed, something you could have, um, changed. Um, but the fact that you had too much pride in yourself to take the mask off, you almost killed someone back there. Right? take the mask off if you want. Um, yes, please. Thank you. All right, um, officer, you all good? Everything checked out? Okay. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Alright, so I'm just going to just hang tight. Alright, what's up? Hello, can you hear me? Yep, there you go. Uh, his driver's license expired. Driver's license expired? Okay. Okay, and you said his license is suspended, correct? Expired. Expired, okay. Alright, um, yeah, go ahead, and, yeah, go ahead and cuff him. Go ahead and cuff him, and let's go ahead and bring him in for um, driving with the expired license first. And then, um, obviously, the involuntary vehicle um, manslaughter over there. Well, he still has a pulse, so I'll um, actually go to scratch that charge. Um, I'll find something. I'll look in the penal code and find something. But yeah, just go to book him for now. I'm like, did he do it in a reckless manner? Was he recklessly driving before that? Or did he just hit? Yeah, he kind of, he's, he's into this lane, so no kind of reckless driving. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get him for reckless driving as well. Definitely make sure he's um, um, in there. I'll walk with you over there. Um, yes, yeah, if you would, I'll go ahead and stay back with the car and, um, search it and stuff like that. Now, where the fuck did you go? Well, um, where the fuck did he just go? He couldn't go far.
Oh, he's on top of the. He's on top. He's on top of the truck. He's on top of the truck. Hey, my dude, what's going on? Go ahead and hop back down, man. All right, go ahead and hop down. Let's go. Hop down. Um. All right, go ahead and do this. Um, go ahead and do us a favor. Go ahead and face your truck. All right, go ahead and just stay there. Alright, so he's gonna be getting cuffed right now. Um, he's gonna go ahead and tell him his charges at the station and let him know exactly why he's gonna be getting arrested tonight, but he should know why. Alright, um, sir, is there anything inside your truck at all? Weapons, narcotics, anything like that? So you just have 12 pounds of weed and 3 pounds of cocaine in your truck? Yeah, I stole them off a truck deal. Okay. You stole all of that off of a truck the other day? Oh, he was a real junkie. A junkie carries that much? That's interesting. Also, it's most of it's on drugs. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> I guess we got fucking... <laughs> ounces of um, narcotics back here so before we even let me go ahead and close this door before this door gets taken off and I can see that happening already so let's go ahead and switch gloves dude this is the second time we, we fucking dealt with narcotics today isn't that crazy it's like a second drug bust today man this is nice uh, yeah, he's gonna be going to jail yeah, go ahead and get inside. I got you. I don't think you can get inside because I'm here. <laughs> um, you're gonna go ahead and transport him. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and call the tow. Yeah, I'll take care of the tow once I'm done with the vehicle. Alright, appreciate that, man. Take care. Alright, let's finish searching the vehicle. It's going to be fine. I mean, he did say he had a whole lot of narcotics in there, so let's actually hope that's true. He wasn't just busting my boss. Alright, so he was right. We did find, I'm pretty sure it's a good probably 12, 12 pounds of um, marijuana back here. And two pounds of, looks like, possible crystal meth, cocaine. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pass that over to the investigators. Um, they'll go ahead and head over to the scene pretty soon once they're done with their call. Um, that's going to be out of my league right now. I'm not a, I'm not active investigation, so I can't really take over that call. But... Um, yeah, shit, I mean, I guess that gives investigation something to do, um, you know, report the write-up or, you know, some investigation to do. And poor guy over there, man, he got transported to EMS, so it was, um, pretty bad for him. Um, pretty damn fucking bad day, just in general. The rain, um, the stops that we had today was just insane, but everything played out pretty good. We got some, um, you know, people off the street, so, 
Um, that's always a good thing. Let's go to change our gloves. Can't keep on the same gloves that we just search people, uh, search someone's car with. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and end the episode there. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe button. Hope you guys um, join the Discord as well if you guys are interested in joining. And until next video, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.